successful. He'll make a way. Well, principle number four. If you want to be successful, you must then also have people in your life. You need purpose, you need passion, you need a plan, and you need what? People. Come on, say it loud. People. Let's say it one more time. People. You cannot be successful without people. However, you got to be careful with the people that you put in your life. You know, you can only be successful if you keep company with people who are going in your direction. There are some people who are bad for you. I call them toxic people. They pollute your atmosphere and they negate your purpose. There are people who can talk you out of your dream. There are people who will tell you everything except the fact that you can accomplish your dream. You know people who can talk you out of your dream. Very, you probably already met them. You probably lived with them. They are so negative. They keep on telling you what you cannot do and why you cannot do it. Or they say it's never been done. Stay away from people who cause you to commit abortion. They'll allow you to abort your dream by their negative input. They will inject you with, with, with toxic information and cause you to miscarry in your dream. That's why you've got to be careful who you keep company with. Let me just start by saying sometimes the worst people to have in your life to fulfill a dream is your family. I'm talking about those who you were born in the house with. The reason for that most of the time is because they believe they already know you. And nobody really knows you except God. How many times you heard parents say to their children, stop dreaming foolish dreams. Have you ever heard a parent say to a child, you're going to be what your daddy is. Forget what God wants, you're going to be like your daddy. You know, it's amazing how God doesn't call children, parents do. Listen, let God call your children. We are experts at causing our children to fulfill our dreams instead of God's dreams. And your parents can literally become a problem in the process of God's will for your life if the parent is not sensitive to God's purpose. Secondly, your brothers and sisters can be toxic. Those who you sleep in the bed with while you were kids. Those who you exchange socks with while you were growing up. They can be the very negative aspects of your life if you allow them to talk you out of your dream. You know, I have known young people whose brothers said to them, do you think you're better than we are? And that's exactly what Joseph's brothers told him. And they talked him, they almost talked him out of his dream. They even threw him in a pit. Sometimes your family will put you in a pit. They'll trap you and tell you you cannot make it. You're not intelligent enough. You don't have enough vision. You don't have enough education. They will give you all the negative stuff and talk you out of your dream. And then you got those people who you grew up with. Sometimes you got to outgrow your friends. There are people who you grew up with that they are not good for you anymore. You got to leave them. Keep company with people who are also pregnant with a dream. Keep company with people who will talk you into your dream or out of your dream. Keep company with people who are going to be on your side, not against you. You know, Jesus was a very interesting person. Jesus had half brothers and sisters, but he didn't call them his family. Hello? One day he was preaching and he was talking to his disciples and his family came to see him. And they sent a message in the house and says, your family want to see you. Do you know what he said? He asked a question. Who are my brothers and sisters and mother? Who is my family, he says. And he says, these who I have chosen to be with me. These who believe in my words, in my dream, in my vision. These are my family. If you're going to be successful, you've got to be careful who you handpick. Do you know? That Jesus handpicked his friends even though he was stuck with his family. So you can't choose your brother and sister, but you can choose your friends. And friends are closer than brothers. You see, we must remember that people are important to the success of our vision, but they must be the right people. Do not think that God wants you to fulfill your dream by yourself. You need people to teach you, to help you, to train you, to expose you, to motivate you, and to help you do the work. But 
They must be people who are good for you. In every case that I've read in scripture that God wanted to use an individual, he usually had to take them away from their home. Abraham, leave your home and your country. God kept on calling people away from the familiar because the familiar will talk you out of your dream. God wants to take you among people who believe and think like he does. You know, 